All of our jaws dropped seeing Miley Cyrus perform at the Grammys. Her arms, I was beyond impressed. Ironically, the same week of her performance, I was working on this song. <laughs> and I like the song, I'm happy with it. Except one thing, I need a vocalist. If only I could sing and perform like Miley Cyrus. So for the next 30 days, I'm gonna train every day like Miley Cyrus. So I'm physically able to perform like her and Yes, I'm gonna to attempt to learn to sing so I can be a vocalist on my own track. Singing Coaches Vancouver. I found a studio, I'm gonna call them. I'm inquiring, do you guys do music lessons for adults with like zero singing ability? And just like that, I booked my first ever singing lesson. According to Women's Health, Miley Cyrus' workout involves astagano, yoga, Pilates, and running. She runs and sings on the treadmill, has been doing yoga for years, but has really gotten into Pilates in 2013, and just generally living an active life, like caring for animals and going for hikes. Okay, I run, I do Pilates, I do yoga. My goal for this is by the end of this 30 days, I wanna be able to run on the treadmill while singing and like not sound out of breath. <gasps> oh, what have I got myself into? Day number one workout, in typical Miley Cyrus fashion, I hit up a Pilates class, which she does several times a week. Now, I love any challenge that means I don't have to stop doing workouts I already love and do weekly, so this is perfect. And honestly, we do have a lot of similarities in the sense that we do Pilates, yoga, some weight training, but the biggest difference is definitely gonna be learning to sing while I run. So let's try that. I'm gonna run on this treadmill as fast as I possibly can. Don't make fun of my running form. This is a very tiny treadmill. A center for ants. While singing songs and trying to maintain my voice. I'm so nervous just opening my voice and singing. And I used to love it. I was that little girl who did performances for my family. What do you want? I can't remember, but I remember it was grade two. We had choir, like we had music class. And I remember singing and something happened. Like I cried and the class laughed at me. Something happened, involved me crying. I was embarrassed that I cried. Oh God, I've suppressed this memory. I never sang again. Is it gonna be such random song choices? Cause I'm just picking songs I actually know the lyrics to. Oh, what am I doing? I'm sitting in and falling drunk and medicine. It's done and I forget it to now. I'm quickly realizing how complicated singing while running is, and my 6 a.m. brain's rationale was to just sing songs I simply knew the lyrics to best. Why didn't I pick the climb by Miley Cyrus at this moment is beyond me. Ooh, I fall apart. Okay. So you're a tough guy, like it really left guy, duh. Okay, that, that was probably awful for you, and I'm not saying I'm a good singer, I'm just saying that was like the most fun I've had running in so long. <laughs> I don't relate to you. I don't relate to you, no. I don't relate to you, no. And I don't talk shit about you on the internet. Don't talk shit about you on the internet. Oh, I wish I could sing. Ugh. But we just have to get good enough to odd tune the shit out of my voice so I can make my own vocals. <laughs> Meet Jared, my vocal coach, who I will be doing several singing lessons with throughout this challenge. Uh, 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 so <laughs> uh, you want it to go higher. You yeah. want it to go like, uh, yeah. yeah. Amazing, thank you. This is actually so much fun. I didn't know what to expect. So big thing I want to be able to do during this is being able to sing while I'm doing high intensity cardio. And there's nothing better than a spin class for that. So this weekend, me and my besties hit up YVR, sang the entire time while doing the spin class, hit up dinner, and then we did karaoke for the rest of the night. My second vocal lesson. Let's do this. Ah. It's feeling like a lot better. It's just like, learning that, like the troll. After 10 days, I'm genuinely loving this challenge. I don't know about you guys, but I've always dreamed of having like a performance to train for. Like, I think it'd be so cool to do weight training specifically to just like, you know, that like empowerment you feel from weight training and get into the best cardio shape in my life so I could survive these two hour performances and singing and just the confidence you get from fitness, having it carry over hopefully into the confidence on stage, like actually getting to perform that, you know, we all have it when you work out you just get this like confidence and like reassurance of yourself and hopefully that carries over to just have the confidence to sing on stage because oh that would take a lot
That's crazy how much it lines up. Make song. <laughs> but um, so I was like, let's do that. Halfway through this challenge and my body's genuinely feeling good. This routine is very balanced and I'm really trying to do challenges more that I genuinely want to do versus just kill myself for the sake of killing myself. And this one was very balanced. Like it's a couple days of Pilates, some weight training, cardio, doing some runs, and then also reincorporating yoga. And I've stayed consistent with my weights, my normal routine about three times a week, which actually does a lot of the moves she does in her flowers routine. So I felt it was only fitting that I attempt the exercises she does, which will be at the end of this video. Okay, it's Saturday and I'm gonna go do a Jaybird class. It's technically kind of like a combo of yoga and Pilates in a hot, hot room, but they have great music. Very Miley vibes, very spiritual, meditative. I can't film inside, so use your imagination. It's a pitch black room. <laughs> I'm just about to start my third music lesson and I've been doing a lot of Billie Eilish, but I thought it'd be fun today to try Dua Lipa. We also love Miley. I just, I'll try Miley's song right now. I wanna try Dua Lipa. Well, we'll see what my instructor says. Did a full 180, crazy. Thinking about the way I was. Did a heartbreak change me? Maybe, but look at where I ended up. Okay, this lesson is really cool because the song, the Dua Lipa song we did, it was like a lot of up and down and up and down and just getting comfortable with my own voice, going up and down and up and down, which it felt very much like a workout. Speaking of workouts, today's workout is weight training. Now I couldn't find anywhere Miley's specific weight training, but in her Flowers music video, it does hint at that she's been doing training in that way, how well she could execute some of the moves. So I decided to stick to my usual three-ish weight sessions a week and focusing on exercises that could help me perform the Flowers moves, such as kettlebell swings, which will help with battle ropes, push-ups and leg exercises that will help with the glute bridges and other things, which we'll talk about later in the video. Cheers. AG did not sponsor this, so they get no free promotion. Learning to sing is really fun. Like, I didn't know what singing was. Like, I just know you open your mouth and go, oh, just the mechanics of it made no sense. So learning a little bit of it is exciting. I'm in that like newbie gains. I can make such big improvements like in 10 minutes just because I had no idea. And also it's been really fun to have something to train for. I'm working on this year video and you'll see the monthly like as I'm embracing becoming like a musician. It is hard for me to call myself a musician. Even though I just graduated from music production school, I grew up my whole life identifying as an athlete. And when basketball ended, I definitely had an identity crisis. And throughout my whole twenties, I decided to embark on a new identity and I really fell in love with creativity and specifically through making videos and music. But as you've probably seen by the challenges I do on this channel, I've also had this hunger to have something to train for when it comes to my workouts, a purpose. And I think that's why I've always been fascinated by musicians and actors and people that train for a role and performance. I think I'd love it because it's the combination of the training I did for sports and my more creative outlets. And this challenge has been really enjoyable to do that. Even though I, I don't think I'll be on any actual stage or anything performing like that anytime soon, but you know, a girl can dream. Day 19 and I hit my first roadblock. Every singer's nightmare, I lost my voice. Kelty, how did you lose your voice? Uh, because I decided to practice my singing at 2 a.m. on the dance floor after pounding multiple shots of tequila with my friends on the weekend and woke up to no voice. <laughs> so I did learn the importance of resting your voice and how you can't just belt anything once you become a singer. Your voice is actually quite a little bit like a muscle. Just because you weight train doesn't mean you can just throw around weights in any direction possible. You have to pro use proper form, proper volumes, and also you actually have to train the muscle. You have to train your voice. So me and my vocal coach went through just some exercises to kind of get my vocal cords re-warmed up and also just the importance of strengthening them. So uh, when I'm in Vegas in a couple weeks, I don't completely destroy my voice again. With my voice gone, it took a few days to really dial in my recovery to get me back singing as fast as possible, getting in some good eats, 
prioritizing my night routine, a little self-care moments, extra hydration for my skin because drinking dries it out crazy and lots and lots of mobility work. My voice is back, and so now back to practicing at full capacity. I definitely, uh, 30 days and lose it a couple days sucks, but we're just gonna hop back on and keep practicing. Pitbull 180, crazy, thinking about the way I was. <laughs> oh, singing's so funny. When you're listening to the song, you're like, I got this, and then you hear yourself without the instruments, and it's humbling. <laughs> Did the heartbreak change me? Maybe, but look at her and did a practice done. Day 28 and I'm genuinely sad this challenge is coming to an end. I'm loving learning to sing and like training like a musician, like having something to train for. That's not just a race, a competition, but like a performance and having more time to work on songs. So that's great too. So speaking of which, it is finally time for me to record my final performance and you to hear the song I'm working on and attempt to sing a song while running on a treadmill. I'm not expecting this to be like enjoyable for you to listen to in the sense of like, oh, what beautiful vocal range. Hopefully I improved and you can once again laugh at me attempting to sing on a treadmill. Let's go. Ha! Goo, 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 goo. You call me again, drunk in your bins. You scare me to death, but I'm wasting my breath. And I never treat me that shitty. You made me hate this city. Upon reflection, I don't know why the cardio song, I didn't pick a Miley song, I picked a Billy. I'm gonna practice a Miley song, actually. That will be in the next few minutes, you will see. Um, but just if you're like, Kelty, why do you sing? But I don't know. I'm assuming Miley trains not just singing her own songs. That would get boring. So in my heart, Miley does sing Billy. And now, previewing me recording my own vocals for my own song. Oh. Walked into a hamburger shop. They recorded some of the vocals, as you heard, and this is how they're sounding now. <laughs> Here's a mini fake music video with footage from Vegas. Enjoy. I will post that on SoundCloud if you wanna give it a full listen. The link will be down below. If this video gets over 7,000 likes, I'll also post it on Spotify. I'm just really nervous to post things on Spotify. I don't know, that seems so big. So I'm like, it has to be the right one. But at the same time, if you guys wanna to listen to it on Spotify, I'll do it there. Oh, you thought for a second I was gonna post this video without singing Flowers by Miley Cyrus? Well, here you go. Here's the encore. Here's my first attempt. Got my name in the sand. 
talk to myself for hours and then don't understand. And then my attempt after a bit more instruction. Write my name in the sand. Talk to myself for hours. Say things you don't understand. And that wraps up training like Miley size for 30 days. First of all, it was really balanced. She seems like a balanced girl when it comes to fitness. Little Pilates, doing some cardio, maybe do a bit more weights. Could be beneficial, of course. It's very important for women, just you know, bone health, everything. But you know, she's happy and healthy and moving her body and has a fit life. It was just really challenging mentally and I think that's the coolest thing about you know, when I trained like Beyonce and Taylor Swift. It was how much they have to train like an athlete and I don't think singers really get enough recognition for that because they have to dance and sing in their cardio levels. And I found it really cool, a fun new way to challenge my body without just doing more extreme. Challenge my body in unique ways. Just because I ran a 10 kilometer and I now have to run a marathon. Like not just that mentality of like, yeah, I ran a 10 kilometer, but like, can I try singing while I run? <laughs> if you guys have noticed my new series, Her Way to Harmony, one of the reasons I use the word harmony is it is also like my journey of getting better as like training to be a musician. Cause harmony, get it? Like that was like the harmony of enjoying the moment and my daily routine and my daily workouts and all that, but also working towards the goal, like the harmony of that, but also like just harmony music term. That's the preview of the future videos is I will be doing several 30 day challenges of different musicians, artists I look up to, things like that. Also, as I'm doing that work towards my own music and I hope you guys like it. I really want to make workout music that just gets you like super motivated to work out for your runs. If you guys have any singers you would like me to train like for 30 days, comment down below. This is a really fun way for me to do challenges and I hope you guys enjoy too. I had so much fun and have a great day. Go pet a dog. Love you guys. Bye.